Hey guys, it's Ed. We have a quick but really useful widget for you guys this week. A subplate for conveniently mounting a lathe chuck to your mill table. I've always balked at having to do this in the past just because you have to break out the strap clamps and the really finicky setup. But with this plate, you can just throw it right on there, bolt it down, and you're good to go. Welcome to another Wednesday widget. The latest and by far the best tape we found so far for the super glue tape trick is PET based masking tape that is meant for powder coating. It's good up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit versus regular masking tapes 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you have any heat buildup in your part, you're not as likely to throw it. And we found it holds up extremely well to coolant. We'll have a full video out on this new tape soon, putting it through the same kind of tests we did in our first video on this trick. In the meantime, you can follow this card over to our page on the NYC CNC site for links to all of the supplies that we're currently using here. Card here to the F3D file if you want to check out any of the speeds and feeds used on this project. I'm not exactly sure why I ended up with this nasty burr you see here on the top of the part from the shear hog. Uh, might have been a combination of a slightly dull insert with a bit too much width of cut. So I switched out the insert, lightened up that width of cut, and it ran fine after that. For those of you who wonder why I usually peck when spotting, it's because this drill mill we use for spotting and chamfering has straight flutes at the end and I found it really helps it do its thing when spotting if you give it a little bit of assistance breaking those chips.
Quick fusion tip to avoid this witness mark here where the contour overlaps itself. Set your entry position to the middle of a corner, chamfer, or fillet. You can see just how difficult it is to get this tape to come loose. Almost every time, the weak point is actually the super glue. So we're looking for a quick adhesive that acts more as a cement than a glue to actually fuse the two layers of tape into one after being applied. At that point, I really think this stuff could take some heavy hogging. So let us know in the comments down below if you guys have any good suggestions for that. Here I'm using some short dowel pins to align the mounting holes as close as I can to the plates for the second op. Did I say I hate strap clamps? When I bored this hole out with the shear hog from the other side, I should have went all the way through. And you can see I was left here with a potentially dangerous free piece of material when I faced off this thin hat.
And here's a little sneak peek of the upcoming widget that inspired this widget, a tombstone for a fellow Insta Machinist Pocket NC desktop 5-axis machine. That's all for this week. Hope you enjoyed.